Hi, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. In this video, we will learn and analyze resistors connected in series in a circuit. Here we will understand various properties of resistors in series connection with the help of very accurate and beautiful simulation. Here we will analyze currents, voltages and resistances by varying different parameters and performing various measurements. So let's play with the circuit. When the resistors are connected in a chain as shown here, this is called as the series connection. As you can see here, resistors of 2 ohm and 3 ohm are connected in a chain. So this is a series connection. Okay. Same current flows through each resistor that are connected in series. The 2 ohm resistor and 3 ohm resistors have the same current flowing through it equal to 2 amperes. Okay. The equivalent circuit that is the total resistance of the circuit would be the sum of the individual resistors connected in series. So in this case as we have uh, two resistors 2 ohm and 3 ohm connected in series. So the net the equivalent resistance or you can say the total resistance of this circuit would be 2 plus 3 equals to 5 ohm. Okay. So in series we just add the resistances connected in series. The equivalent resistance is the resistance that can replace individual resistances without changing the value of the current or voltage in the circuit. One more thing that uh, the equivalent resistance is always more than the value of any individual resistor in the series circuit. Here we have two resistors of 2 and 3 ohms and uh, the equivalent resistance is the 5 ohm. So the 5 ohm would be always greater than each of these resistors 3 and 2 ohm. Okay? The total voltage is the sum of the voltages across each resistor. It means that the voltage across 2 ohm plus the voltage across 3 ohm would be equals to the total voltage provided by the battery source. Let me show you with the help of a simulation. Let's uh, take this voltmeter here. Here is the this is the voltmeter. Here I have connected this voltmeter across this 2 ohm resistor as you can see the reading here it is giving 4 volts okay so 4 volt is the voltage drop across this uh, 2 ohm resistor now let's uh, check out uh, the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor in the simulation you can see that the voltage drop across this 3 ohm resistor is 6 volts so it was uh, 4 volts across 2 ohm resistor and 6 volts across uh, 3 ohm resistor. So the net, the total voltage drop across this combination of 2 plus 3 is 6 plus 4 equals to 10 volts, which is equal to the voltage supplied by the battery source, 10 volts. Okay, so the net voltage is the sum of the voltage drop across each resistor. We can also calculate the equivalent resistance with the help of ohm meter also. So let me show you in this simulation. With the help of ohm meter you can also see that the equivalent resistance of uh, this 2 and 3 ohms connected in series is 5 ohm. The reading is showing 5 ohm in the, volt, in the ohm meter. One important thing that uh, you should notice here is that uh, I have disconnected the battery source uh, using ohm meter. Now, now we will see some theoretical part and we will see what is the formula and uh, how to calculate the current. Here in this uh, beautiful image you can see resistors that are connected in series connection. Here we have uh, the same circuit that uh, I simulated two resistors 2 and 3 ohm connected in uh, series with the 10 volt battery DC voltage source and the formula for equivalent resistance is R1 plus R2 okay so 2 plus 3 5 ohm and uh, here is how we can calculate the current by using ohm's law I is equals to V by the total resistance R1 plus R2 that is so it is 10 
divided by 2 plus 3 means 2 ampere okay we can also calculate the v1 and v2 that is the voltage drops across uh, resistor r1 and r2 are the v1 and v2 so the v1 would be the resistance of this resistor r1 multiplied by the current flowing through the resistor so the current is 2 ampere as we have calculated so 2 multiplied by 2 would be 4 so 4 volts so to calculate the voltage drop across r2 the current flowing through r2 multiplied by the resistance of this resistor so, so 3 multiplied by 2 gives us 6 so 4 and 6 are the voltages voltage drops and 6 plus 4 would be equals to 10 volts as we have seen this all things the current would be the same through each component if i1 and i2 are the currents flowing through resistor r1 and r2 then it would be equal and also equal to the net current i so the same current flows through each component that are connected in series you can also see the equivalent circuit here here 2 plus 3 ohm gives us 5 ohm and here it is 10 volts so i would be directly v 10 volts divided by r equivalent that is 5 equals to 2 ampere so this was all about uh, the resistors that are connected in series in the next video we will see the resistors connected in parallel and a few other uh, complex circuits too thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my channel see you soon in the next video bye bye